Hey everyone, Dean Joseph here. Thank you for clicking on the video. And now you guys know we are in the month of November. So you know what that means. We are getting prepared for the holidays. That's right, Christmas is right around the corner. But first, we got to deal with Thanksgiving. We haven't killed a turkey yet, and yet there's Christmas decorations out already. Ever since the last month of October, even before Halloween, Christmas decorations already came out. But, um, hey, Christmas is the best time of the year. For me, it's my favorite time of the year. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for Mountain Dew, man. Fruit Quake. So now, when you think of that word Fruit Quake, I think of Fruit Cake. Fruit Cake is uh, legit what you think it is. It's fruits and cake, but it's... It's like specially made for holidays, like Christmas, Thanksgiving. You always get fruit cakes. I personally am not a huge fan of fruit cakes. Um, I love fruit and I love cakes, but putting them together, I am not a huge fan of fruit cakes. So Mountain Dew came out with this flavor, uh, fruit quake, with a blast of artificial fruit cake flavors. So I, I don't know what to expect out of this. Um, I like I like the uh, the design of it though. Uh, what do we have on it? It's like a monster truck with a was that a polar bear stuffed animal on onto it? <laughs> really can't see it, but you guys know we already got to try this because I love Mountain Dew. I'm a Mountain Dew lover and I'm a Mountain Dew drinker. Yes, I am because I do the do. Oh, I got a whiff of that smell. Ooh. That's interesting. So you know it's soda, but you get a strong scent. Like very fruity smell. Interesting. So let's try this. Here we go. Mmm. Everybody knows the rule. One more sip. Mmm. Yeah, Mountain Dew's onto something here. That aftertaste is actually really good. Ooh. Cause yes, you'll you'll know it's fruitcake because it's saying it's fruit cake but if you were to cover that in all honesty you'll probably think it's like some type of candy like some type of bubblegum candy mixed with like banana that's interesting That's actually pretty good. Mountain Dew, y'all did a good job on this one. And obviously there's some Mountain Dews out there that I personally don't like. Like I wasn't crazy about the Halloween one, but I think we did that one last year or two years ago. But you know, they came out with it again. Um, hmm. Yo, that's good. That's really good. I like this one a lot. But yeah, I wasn't crazy about the, the Halloween one. Um, but this is like their Christmas uh, Mountain Dew drink, which is exciting because this is actually really good. I'm glad they didn't actually aim for like a gingerbread uh, theme, a gingerbread taste. Because in all honesty, when you have flavored drinks of sodas, some work, some don't, you know? I guess it depends on what company does it. Like I have high hopes for Mountain Dew because obviously my favorite one's Cold Red. Uh, I do love regular Mountain Dew. Uh, Baja Blast is amazing. So it's like, I have top fives. This, 
It's definitely up there in my top five. It's either in fourth or fifth place. But nothing is beating my Code Red. I'm sorry, in the name of Jesus, nothing's beating Code Red. But this, this, let me see if I can. This, mm, this right here, Mountain Dew Fruit Quake. Wow. I mean, I'm really impressed. Mountain Dew actually really did a good job with this one. I recommend uh, trying this for sure. Uh, other flavors of Mountain Dew though. You know, I tried other flavors. Um, but like I said, Cold Red does not be defeated at the moment because nothing ever came out to beat Cold Red. I love the Cold Red. I love the regular Plain Mountain Dew. I like the Baja Blast. I like uh, the blue the blue uh, blast one, the regular blue one that we see at all the stores, and, and it's this one. This one's definitely amazing. Um, and I remember trying the, the 4th of July one. That I think that one was pretty good too. I think that was really good too. Uh, I just can't remember the taste, but I remember trying it because the bottle was really cool. Um, but yeah, this is their holiday version. I'm happy about it. Now, if they would have done a candy cane, let's talk here for a second. A candy cane flavored Mountain Dew soda, I think would have been really freaking interesting. Not gingerbread, not gingerbread. It, it, like I want to try it, but I feel like I definitely want to like it. But candy cane on the other hand, a peppermint Mountain Dew, it's just not like strong, but knowing Mountain Dew would probably be strong of peppermint, but I want to, mind really trying that i'd rather try that a lot more than the uh, like fruit quake or any gingerbread flavors i could have sworn they probably did the gingerbread before i don't know i gotta do my mountain dew research <laughs> but this fruit quake is up there on the chart i actually like this so thank you guys for watching the video i am not sponsored by mountain dew i just love mountain dew <laughs> and um i'll see y'all next time hit that subscribe button baby